Greetings sailors and welcome back to World of Warships and some more live recorded stuff. I did do a flurry of uh, recording before the patch day because it is patch day as of today. So I've got a bunch of recorded stuff. I just, you know, I need the brain power to actually then sit down and do something with it. What I'm going to do today though is play this a little bit. This is my newest acquisition, the Prinz Ruprecht which uh, is not the Zeton, so it's got that going for it. It has one more turret, it still has a fully rotating rear turret, and it being a tier 9, we can actually now get it out to a respectable nearly 22 kilometers range. I do have this still pretty much fully specced for secondaries though, so I've got my secondary battery modification there, and both long-range secondary and uh, manual secondaries, so we, we have the best secondaries we can get just about. I've played I think two games in this so far and I have gotten the upgraded range on it because uh, stock range even with the, uh, the, the main battery firing mod still a little bit lacklustre. Need the upgraded hull though, which will obviously help with things like AA and uh, interestingly torpedoes. What does it do with torpedo? Do, does it give me like an extra torpedo for each launcher or something like that? And the rudder shift time will improve a, a, an appreciable amount as well. So it's definitely uh, uh, not that fun to swing around in the water at the moment. But then German battleships generally aren't. So, tier 10 game, spread of tier 9s and tier 10s, uh, yeah, only two destroyers. We'll see how that affects things, given that this is a domination game. I do have Hydro, of course. And, uh, yeah, overall this looks not bad. Still quite, uh, haven't figured out the optimal playstyle for this yet. There's always the desire to rush in and get within secondary range with these ships of course, but I don't know if that's necessarily going to be the correct course of action. I do have a poor traumatized cat on my desk for this recording as well. He had to go to the vet today. He's been having some either bladder or kidney issues, not sure which, but uh, yeah, that was a little bit ouchy for my wallet, and it was a little bit ouchy for Sam. Although it wasn't too bad, he got a bit poked and prodded and given an injection. I've got some medicine for him as well. So, yeah, he's, 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 a, he's a poor little neglected, abused, beaten, etc, etc cat, especially today, because I forced him to go in the wicked box of nastiness and took him to the wicked place of nastiness. And uh, he's, he's obviously now, he's, he's just, he's maximizing the guilt by lying on my desk and looking especially, you know, poor and neglected. <laughs> it's a cat speciality. Right, we'll see if this F-46 actually spots anything. I've got... Uh, maximum secondary range, which is 12 kilometers, pretty respectable. And yes, there is an enemy destroyer. So got, uh, yeah, Z44, that's got the short range torpedoes, right? Okay, not quite enough lead, but we just clipped one in the edge there. A couple of people aiming at me. Rather the them aiming at me than our destroyer. Oh, you look like you're turning a bit away. Is that Seth 44 Torps? Torpedoes direct for us. Don't know. Do we have Torpedoes both destroyers here, or is that going to be someone else's torpedoes? They're fairly long range torps. So, I mean, 
could be you, Kamal. Yeah, I think both are just... No, Yugamo's over there. Okay, not sure whose torps those were then. Alright, now I want to press forward. Yeah, that is the Z44. I'm sure the Z44 is the one that gets like 8 kilometer torpedoes, or am I getting confused with something else? Forwards. Oh, I really, really don't want us to lose our Z46. So we might take a torpedo or two here. It will be nice to get the better rudder shift on this. Oh no, we're going to comfortably clear that. That's fine. Yeah, our Z46 is uh, getting a little bit hammered. This is our stealthy destroyer as well. Our other destroyer is a Mogador. Which even at best stealth isn't particularly uh, fantastic. I don't want to get any shots, uh, hits on that Stalingrad, but you never know. God, it's very tempting to just drive forwards and have my secondary start going pew pew. But even with the manual secondaries, we weren't getting a continuous enough rate of uh, or window of fire on that uh, SF-44 to ramp up the accuracy sufficiently. So only one hit. Oh, this is turning to be, oh dear, we lost the uh, yeah sort of. Quite static gameplay so far. I don't know if it is worth pushing a little bit. Maybe. What have they got? The Minotaurs there. Stalingrad is looking very unhealthy. I might try it. This Kronstadt's pressing forwards a bit. I think this is probably the time to make a push. We have a good spread of forces here compared to the enemy team, so yeah. Let's do it then. Their battleships are hanging fairly far back. We do have multiple radars here. I might pop a hydro just to be on the safe side. This definitely feels like time to be pushing a bit. There's four of them and what, six of us? I'm definitely not going to be able to get the cap, but if it could, will encourage everybody else to go forwards a bit, that would be nice. Alright, this might hurt. GK does pack a fair few barrels. Certainly more than I do. I see you. Uh, Minotaur smoke. Might be worth putting some torps down there. Oh, 
want other battleships. Oh, hello, there's an Azuma. There goes the Hydro. The lack of uh, oh, uh, thingamy is a little bit painful. Adrenaline rush, that would be nice to have right now. Torpedoes are backboard! That's a nice four tops. Right, I'm sure for all of those. Still a Z44 somewhere. Come on, fellas! I'm taking all of the smackings here. That's the Z44. Nice, oh, actually got a Citadel here though. Everyone's torch tubes. Oh, I really need a heal back. Come on, fellas. God, sometimes you really, really, really need to uh, have a big, uh, you know. <laughs> Please come this way, sign. How oh, am I going to survive this? I don't know. Very close to a heal, but... Ah, no. Yeah, sometimes you need to push and just hope that your allies will actually do something, but they're still... They're just, uh, this is just... Uh, yeah. Bit too cautious. Little bit. Little bit too cautious. And we, we've successfully managed to grab the cap by getting the mid-cap. Um... Don't know if that Prince Rupress is going to survive, but um, oh no, no, Kronstadt's getting reset. Yeah, this this cluster of ships here. I mean, this is what four ships, quarter of our team. They're taking the slightly too scenic route. We kind of need to get control of this. Anyway, we'll see how this one goes. I won't sit and commentate the whole thing. If anything especially interesting happens, I will dip back in and we'll uh, we'll spectate it together. Well, this is proving to be a pretty weird game, to be honest. We come down to two versus two. We have all three caps. Our Mogdor is barely holding on. The roof practice is looking a little bit better. Uh, literally, we just need to like last out the last two and a half minutes and uh, we should win this but yeah it's been kind of an odd match to be honest there has been some trading of caps but uh, yeah this this last couple of enemy ships uh, have, have not really been playing near the caps that much I mean the Minotaur was forced back because they're in a Minotaur and then they got sunk not long ago uh, our Yamato actually pushed all the way down out here and uh, alone and got sunk, whereas the Hanover went in the middle, managed to kill the Prince Ruprecht, uh, which was just after the um, uh, the Kronstadt killed the Z44, and then got blatted by the Ruprecht in return. So, uh, yeah, the last couple of people that were actually trying for the caps are gone now. It's just the Satsuma and the Azuma. And we just have to wait. So, barring anything totally dramatic happening, uh, I think we've won this one. <laughs> but it's been a very odd, messy game all around. Well, with 30 seconds to go, they are making a very last-ditch attempt. They may kill the Ruprecht, but that's not going to change things. Do they even have time to do that? Maybe if that's if the Satsuma gets in a good hit here, but then we just need the Mogador to stay alive, and uh, yeah, that's it. So yeah, there goes the Ruprecht, but it's it's not enough.
So we win this one on points, and man, this was uh, a bit of a what's the phrase? A knockdown, drag out fight. <laughs> Heck, the Ruprex got the Satsuma just before the end, so <laughs> they got their vengeance. So yeah, that wasn't an amazing score, but I feel like if I hadn't made some kind of push there, yeah. It maybe wouldn't necessarily have happened. We'll give that 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 that's, uh, Ruprechter, the other Ruprechter plus, and the Mogador did the smart thing, staying alive at the end there. Um, yeah, a couple of the enemy team over at 1k. Everyone on this team was over 1k base XP. I mean, I was, you know, quite near the bottom, but still 1200 XP. This was a really hard fought game. Anyway, let's do one more. And then uh, I can open my final container for the day. Well, here we are, another domination game. Uh, actually, some uh, tier 8s in it this time, so we're top tier. It's actually overall nicer matchmaking. Still only two destroyers, one of which doesn't have torpedoes. Uh, a pair of chumphons, which definitely do have torpedoes. Someone in there, Sejong. If you've been living under a rock, you may not have realised that the Pan-Asian cruiser tech tree is now live, but it is indeed, so you can go and grind them out. If you decided you weren't going to spend any doubloons on the preview event, and, uh, you know, why, why would you? The line wasn't that exciting. I suppose if you were really pressed for time and you have lots of disposable income then fair enough you are wargaming's target audience with those kinds of packages i did at least like that it was possible to uh get at least one of the the freebie cam uh, camos the silk screen one for the chump on I would have liked to get more of them, but maybe at some point in the future that will be an option. We'll see. Anyhow... It's probably going to be a while before I manage to get up to the higher tiers. I only... <laughs> I, I, uh, the last week of... Um... Uh, no, I, I, I was taking full advantage and playing the chumphon in that basically every day just to build up some XP because it's rather decent in Narai as one would expect. In random battles it's a bit more of a slog. Especially as, uh, as you saw when I did that video, it still doesn't have IFHE on the captain. Right, we'll do a little turn around when we can. Don't want to broadside just yet. This Elsass is almost in secondary range though. Right. That's the Chumphon. I think the Elsass was also the second one aiming at me. It's a bunch more at this point. So let's make a turn and Oh, I think I've probably missed the window for putting those torps out. We'll have to put some out anyway. Let's get a shot in here. Should be. Oh, well, it was fairly angled, so three ricochets. Well, at least I've got one pen. Some secondary hits, but nothing spectacular. He's hurting, though. He is hurting. I can get a shot through this gap. Come load. Gonna... Yeah, just sometimes the the indicator isn't quite correct. In this case, uh, yeah.
a slightly restricted range of movement with my mouse at the moment, but you know, Sam, Sam has successfully guilted me into uh, allowing him to stay in the awkward position. Because, you know, poor lad, poor boy, he went to the horrid place and he didn't like it. He was practically trying to climb inside my coat pockets. <laughs> it would have been amusing if he wasn't so clearly stressed about it. Poor lad. At least we got him on the examination table without having to basically dismantle the entire carry box. It's one of those ones that uh, can unclip into two halves. Wow, this Ruprecht is being awfully aggressive. Let's pop the Hydra. I'm not entirely sure why they're making such a... Uh, like the Alsace got severely mauled and really just managed to get away only just about. Um, the Ruprecht is quite far ahead of any of their allies at this point. Nice, good solid hit, 14k. I'll just let the secondaries work him over. Fire alarm. Right, between me and the lion, I mean, I don't think this guy's going to last too long. Hopefully he doesn't torpedo the lion. Oh, bunch of Sejong torpedoes. Nice. Tight crit. Okay, huge number of secondary hits, but we'll see how we did after the uh, game finishes, of course. Is the Alsace having another go? Oh, we're going to lose the lion. That's nasty. Very, very nasty. Couple of overpans, nothing special. The Friesland and the Sejong in a. Yes. I mean, if you're going to be in a division to smoke somebody, the Friesland is a good choice. And then you could potentially be spotting for them as well. Right, there's actually a Harbin over there. Somewhere. The freeze on gets within secondary range. The Alsace definitely more of a concern than. I mean, Bismarck's still got guns that are not to be sniffed at for sure. AGV, slightly concerned as to where this Harbin might be. Guessing probably still in their smoke. I mean, I wasn't spotted there. So in their smoke would make sense. Sometimes it's advantageous having slow torps because you can put them out against targets you, are, you know aren't going to be in range for a little bit and... Uh, a decent chance they will get to where you need them to be. Alright. It'd be nice if we could get some... I mean, both teams are fairly equal in terms of... Uh, in fact, exactly equal in terms of having traded ships. Cruiser, a battleship, and a destroyer each. 
We're definitely getting pushed on this side, so hopefully we can get some support from the other flank. Oh, there's the Harbin. Might want to go dark for a bit. I think I'm far enough away from the Alsace that once my uh, timer goes down. I will deny him the use of that smoke. Oh, hello. Caps being capped. Is that the Friesland? Yeah, that's the Friesland. Oh, Samuel, that's helpful. Thank you. At least I know he can't talk me. <laughs> right. I don't know if we're going to have things back soon enough, torpedoes back soon enough. Alright, seeing as how we're about to be spotted. Pretty sure we can take down that Alsace at this point. Oh, Sam, thank you. You're lucky you're so cute and that you very successfully have guilted me. He's had lots of treats today. Alright, taking the middle. I mean, we've delayed them fairly successfully. We're still pretty equal on points, but taking the middle is useful. Could do with killing some more of their ships, though. Oof. Okay, I really was hoping for more than that. Goodbye, Richelieu. That's not so grand. Probably this Bismarck will get taken down. E ouch, yeah, that was kind of nasty. He's wandering into a whole passel of enemies. Well, enemies to him, so that's fine. The Alsace, annoyingly, still alive, and I'm down to my last heal. Which, uh, yeah, it's definitely an issue for these ships, just like with the Zeton and the Prince uh, Heinrich and, you know, all of them. <laughs> you really do uh, have a hard time conserving those hit points sometimes. Um, hello, Sam. That's my mouse hand. I need that hand for my mouse. And it's, it's, not, it's not a Sam lying on hand. It's a mouse hand for using mouse. Sam doesn't care, he's decided. Now, there's going to be so many more smoke cruisers around now that these... Uh, these uh, Pan-Asian ships are in play. Oh, they're probably not going to get there in time, but you never know. Oh, hello, Friesland. This house has proving very tenacious. Nice, 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 nice. We will take it. Where are you, Harbin? Is the slightly risky play. Ooh, is that Sejong gonna go down? Let's see if I can help them out. Hello, Friesland! Say hello to my little secondaries. That, that sounded better in my head. Harbin, we really want to finish off the freezer if we can. Oh, might get top into the oh oh into the harbin maybe. Oh, 
Oh, actually, no, that, that was a Citadel. I thought I'd got it with a torpedo there. That would have been nice. Come on, secondaries. Nice. Alright, we're kind of lost everybody else at this point, so I don't. I think we've just. They've been trading more effectively than we have. Oh, that's a very healthy North Carolina. Yeah, I don't think I have the endurance to uh, make this a, a win. Just not enough hit points left. Damage wise, not too bad though. I think I'm. You know, performance wise, I think I've done okay. Just considering the o overall. Um, survivability issues these ships have, but I am only... Might as well use that. Like the next hit kills me kind of thing. Oh well, it's a pity. Right, come on, get my shells away. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, wasn't enough, wasn't enough. Oh, no! <laughs> One of my secondaries finished him. <laughs> he was on low enough health that that was just like, nope, you're dead. <laughs> yeah. It's actually a, a somewhat similar game to last time in that it's been a really closely fought fight, but this time we've been on the wrong end of it, sadly. Still, that was a better performance than last time, even if we have uh, not succeeded. So, yeah, I'm not loving this, but it's definitely a step up from the Zeton, and uh, it should be far less of a hassle to grind through than the Zeton was. And the Zeton is, is in that sort of state where, I bet you anything, the stats say it's fine as far as Wargaming's concerned. It's just not very fun to play. Which, as ever, seems to be... Well, as ever, it, it usually seems like it's a secondary consideration. And sometimes a, a far secondary consideration. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I certainly gave as good as I got in, the, in this one. But I think in most other tier 9 battleships, aside from, obviously, the performance of my secondaries, I think I'd have probably done a bit better. Hell, even if I'd taken out the FDG, I could have gotten the secondaries and had extra survivability to boot. So the, the only other thing that this has that the FDG doesn't, which is is the torpedoes, did really factor into this game. So yeah, sometimes they're useful, but they're slow enough that quite often they are not. Anyhow, um, I don't think this is going to last too much longer. Our Ostergotland's really going for it, considering the Neptune's right there. Nice. Okay. Taking out the North Carolina, but uh, they, I mean, we'd have to kill these remaining enemy ships. And I don't think there's even time to nip up and cap C, even though it is um, clearly free right now. But I've got to give it to this Mr. Gotland. They are trying. They're not just uh, giving up without a fight and letting the, the points ticker take the enemy team to victory. Seth the Chumfon. Uh, Sejong, uh, I'm guessing, are they healing? Yeah, they will be. Of course, Tianan Cruiser, of course it has a heal. I don't know why we can't hear the gun sounds. That's a bit odd. Some lovely new glitch, presumably. Yeah, there goes the Ustagot land. It was a good try. It was a good try. But I, I mind games like this less. Games where it, it's close and it's hard fought. 
as opposed to some of the other games when I've I've been recording at times and it's just complete one sided. To get two of them in a row <laughs> Yeah, that's not bad at all. It would have been nice to win, but I at least won the first one. So, he survived. And, uh, yeah, it is a pity that that couldn't have been a win for our team. But, uh, yeah, it was what it was. And again, uh, as with last team, it was basically all, all the team had over a thousand. It was all bar one this time, so... Yeah, still some uh, decent contenders. You know, these are good scores for having uh, been on the losing side. So, in fact, that I'm top. I'm not displeased with that. So, yeah, I'll take it. Uh, PTR Lion wasn't able to stay alive and do some more. Anyhow, let's open up our last crate of the day. And as ever. Whenever I was streaming or whenever I'm recording and doing this, I always try my luck because you never know. RNG might be kind, but sadly, this that, that this is not the case this time. So, oh well, just be a bunch of flags and things. But hopefully, useful flags and things because I'm running low on some of them. Anyhow, so that's it for this recording. Hopefully you have found it entertaining, and if you have, you can do all the usual things down underneath the video. And of course, as always, stay tuned for more.